because there is an issue with this called cycling. OK, so there the, you can have you can have a problem. Now, cycling comes when people are trying to do what's called manufactured spending. So that means that you are buying and spend buying and paying, buying and paying with outside of the normal purview of everyday expenses. All right. So I had a quick question. Um, what's that? So my wife and I are um, constantly using our credit card. Yeah. And um, and I, I agree with you both when you guys say don't use your debit card. But my thing is, am I doing the right thing by constantly using my credit card? and paying it off the next day. Absolutely. So there's a rule to this. And let me let me go first real quick, Mike. There's a rule to this because there is an issue with this called cycling. OK, so there the, you can have you can have a problem. Now, cycling comes when people are trying to do what's called manufactured spending. So that means that you are buying and spend buying and paying, buying and paying with outside of the normal purview of everyday expenses. But if you're going to the grocery store, going to a restaurant, going to the gas station, you know, whatever, amusement parks, whatever it may be, movies, and then you pay that off the next day, two, three days later after it clears, then, man, you are absolutely within the purview of normal, acceptable use. Right. I've been doing it to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars a month for years and have never had an issue. So absolutely, you're doing the right thing, man. Absolutely. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, um, I, I tell all my clients and I tell everyone, you can make one payment a day, make as many payments as you want throughout the month. And as a matter of fact, any lender is going to like that because they see that it's your priority to pay these credit cards down. It's your priority not to carry a balance. Because what consumers fail to realize is credit is about repayment. So people that don't repay in full don't get credit limit increases as, as often. They don't have high, higher limits. You know, um, banks are not going to look at your your balance and say, ooh, that, that, that balance looks great. You know what I'm saying? They're going to think about how they can mitigate and get away from that risk. Because at the end of the day, if you carry a balance and you're constantly not paying it off, you're a high-risk borrower. And what's going to be the first thing you stop paying if you go through a financial hardship? The yep. credit cards. Yep. Okay? And that's the reason why the higher balances that you carry and the higher balances that you report, that's the reason why your score is adversely affected. So make as many payments as you want. OK, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and, and just Jay really touched on that because there are people that are, <laughs> are out here doing this the wrong way. They're manufacturing spending. But if you're just doing your normal spending like you are and you're paying it off, that's great. It's not hurting you in any way, shape or form. It's actually helping your relationship with that specific credit card company because they love to see that. Okay. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Any, any other question? Yeah, one more. Um, what about the credit cards that I'm not using? I have a I, I I mean I have a credit limit, but I don't use at all. Right. So the way, I, the way I like to the way I like to deal with it, and Mike, I think has 21 credit cards. I think at this point I have 18 or 19. Um, so it, it gets difficult to manage, right? So the safe way to do this, and I'll let Mike expound on this a little bit after I do, uh, but the safe way that I do this is I simply allocate a subscription service that I may have to a particular card. So, uh, you know, a, a lot of my cards, man, don't get a whole lot of use, but especially my oldest cards have my Netflix or my Hulu or my ESPN or whatever subscription service that I may have, because we all got a bunch of them. You know what I'm saying? So I, I would say safely put a subscription service for about 10 to $15 a month on, on any of those cards. Make sure you put it down for the full balance payment on auto pay from your bank account every single month. Okay. Um, and that's kept me out of hot water, bro. Uh, so that, that's, that's the way I handle that. Uh, Mike, what are you doing? Now that's, that's honestly perfect. You want to keep those relationships in good standing. If you want to keep the car, because if you don't, it, it depends on how long you've had the card. If you haven't had the card for very long and you go inactive for two or three months, they're going to shut the card off. If you've had a long lasting relationship, I've seen people that haven't used cars for like eight, 10 years and they still keep them active only yep. because they, they've already had them for 10 or 15 before that. Okay. Yeah. But if you don't keep a card active, they have no reason to keep it open, you know, cause at the end of the day, the goal is to, to get you to use it and, you know, pay, pay, you know, um, interest and pay all these other fees and stuff. So yep. just, just do a subscription. Just like you said, that's the easiest way. If you want to keep the card, but understanding if you do wind up closing a credit card, it can adversely affect your credit score. Right. Your credit score, takes, it takes a bit. It starts to rebound in three to six months. The longest time is sometimes nine months. 
But um, this it's, it's a really good point where I tell people all the time, all my clients, you need to look at all the credit cards that you have and say, am I really using these? Uh, are, am I paying annual fees for these? Like, why are we keeping these cards around? Because you're taking up a slot. And for what purpose, if you're not going to make that relationship better or you're not going to optimize that relationship, you know, um, think about those cards. So when people get credit cards, that's the reason why I'm very descriptive when I talk about these credit cards on any type of social media platform, because I want you to know what the card can actually do as opposed to saying, oh, no, you go get this card. Everyone has it. It's really dope. You know, like you really need to learn and understand that credit cards are meant to be a match for your lifestyle. My lifestyle is completely different than yours. You know, so we wouldn't have the same credit cards. So as you as you get older and more responsible, as I like to say, you start to realize like nah, that card just doesn't sound like it's a good fit for me. You know, and then you start chopping away at the cards you don't use. There's no yeah, point. And, and, all, and also, bro, as you get access to better credit cards, you start to realize what, you know, what cards simply can't be spent on anymore or serve no real purpose. And then you, you know, you relegate those to the back and there's nothing wrong with that, man. Uh, but, you know, the issue is and I wish you could safely clo close credit cards with no penalty. But like Mike said, you absolutely can't do that because as your credit cards gain age, just picture it like a tree that's growing. Right. When it's small, the roots in the ground aren't spread very far. You rip that thing out the ground. You don't do much damage at all. But you let that thing turn into a mighty oak and try to rip it out. It's going to take everything in the foundation with it credit cards are exactly the same which is one of the reasons why both mike and i have begun to really rail against the um, open skies and the surge cards and the first financials and the first premieres and all the merrick banks because they take the foundation with them when you ine inevitably have to rip them out of the ground and so yeah. as long as you don't have cards like that that you are using and trying to keep alive uh then yeah man throw a subscription on that bad boy and let it ride man make sure you put your auto pay on there and you'll be good all right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Sounds it. Good, bro. Yeah, Sounds man. good. Man. Thank All you right. for joining me.